Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice Yushio 400 watt Pulse Start Metal Halide coated bulb. Now this particular bulb came from a restore in Phoenix, Arizona, and in, I believe it was bought for $10, so that was very nice and cheap, if you ask me. So anyways, without further ado, let's look at the etch real quick, also known as the information about this Pulse Start Metal Halide coated bulb. So, I believe there is a clear version of this bulb as well, but I haven't encountered any of those bulbs yet, but that will probably be highly unlikely, because I'm not sure if this company makes um, metal halide bulbs anymore, because LEDs are starting to take over the HIDs, which kind of stinks. So, anyways, you can see the company name up top. So, and then under the company name is the bulb code. So, you can see it's an MH400. It's just basically a normal metal halide bulb. And the C means that it is coated. And this, this bothered me a little bit when I first bought the bulb. This kind of bothered me. So, I'm going to show you something real quick before we get to this construction and then we'll get back to the etch after that. So this bothered me big time. So I'm gonna go ahead, point it into here. Look, there is a coating of ceramic on the bottom end of the arc tube, and then there is a coating of ceramic on the other end, meaning that this is a universal burn position. And it says that it's a base up position, but it's not. So the etch kind of trolled me there. And sorry about that little laughing right there. That was actually my favorite Nintendo Mushroom Kingdom character, Princess Peach, chuckling at me. So, I'm not sure what that 40 means right there. And the PS means that it's a pulse start. So, anyways, that's it for the bulb code right there on the etch. So, I'm not sure what all these random numbers mean on the etch right there. And here is when this bulb was manufactured in March of 2003 in Germany, which is really cool. Because I've never seen these types of elongated dimple bulbs made in Germany before. A lot of these bulbs are made in the USA and China these days. So, and what's also aggravating to me is that there is no warning symbol of mercury on the etch. Like, here's an example. I'll show you one that has a warning mercury symbol. See, this is a full ham 70 watt high pressure sodium bulb, and it has the warning symbol of mercury. So, we'll get back to this one here. And this one does not have a warning of mercury, which is very aggravating to me. I already know that there is mercury inside of these arc tubes because I'm a lighting enthusiast on YouTube these days. I started on June of 2019. I've been doing this for nine months now straight. So. Anyways, that's it for the etch, so we might as well look at the construction real quick to see how this bulb was made. So, here we go. You can see the stem right there. Very nice. Sorry, there's something that's itching me right now. Sorry about that. We'll get back. So you can see all the wiring and the welding process to connect to the arc tube. And um, there's the arc tube inside. You can see it right there sitting and floating in the bulb and waiting to be turned on. <laughs> Just trying to make cool, funny jokes for you viewers to be enjoyable. So, you can see a quartz tube right there, right on that lead wire to help prevent the lead wire from melting from the intense heat from the arc tube. You can see that there's a coating of ceramic on one end of the arc tube, and then the other one is also coated with ceramic on the other end, so this means that it's a universal burn position. So, we also have the dimple for extra support for the arc tube, and um, we also have a very nice hard aluminum base with a glass insulator. Normally a lot of these other companies that I know have brass bases with glass insulators. Let me show you one with a brass base real quick. Here's my Philips 50 watt high pressure sodium bulb and it has a brass base with a glass insulator. So there you go. So. Anywho, let's go ahead and I'll give you some specifications about the lamp and then I'll turn it on. So this 
particular pulse start metal halide bulb here produces 40,000 lumens and it's the brightest bulb out of all of the metal halide bulbs that I have that are 400 watt. So the Philips 400 watt metal halide bulb that I made over a month ago was beaten by this big sucker. <laughs> so you all make great stuff, Philips. So anyways, um, I just made a little joke there. But anyways, this particular bulb here has a color temperature of, I believe, 4200K or cool white, almost like cool white fluorescent. And the coating on this bulb is actually not phosphor, believe it or not. It's, there is no phosphor on the coating, it's just a normal white coating on the bulb. So anyways, this bulb has an average life of 20,000 hours. So that's quite a while, but it's not as long as 24,000 hours. So anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, Go ahead and give this bowl a shot and we'll see how it starts up. And what's actually funny and cool, this is my 400 watt metal halide fixture. And I gave this bulb a test like about, I don't know, five or six hours ago today. And um, it actually started up. This ballast is strong enough to give off a good electromagnetic pulse to this bowl and it basically ignites it. So. This is why I'm making this video. I actually don't have the actual ballast, which is, I believe, is the M155 for the 400 watt pulse start middle halide lamp. But this bulb can still work on the M59, and that's what that ballast is. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw it in into its fixture, and we'll see how it starts up. And hopefully there will be no issues with the arc tube whatsoever. And the coating is actually pretty thick on this bulb, so not gonna lie. Coated bulbs give me a little bit of dangerment because if it's especially metal halide, these bulbs have a nasty habit of arc tube rupture. So just to point that out there, but don't worry, this is a universal burn position. So anyways, enough of me talking. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera right here on the ballast so we can get a good view of the whole bulb itself. So yeah, the coating is so thick that we can't even see the arc tube from just that LED lamp on the left. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put my welding goggles on real fast. Alrighty, so enough of me talking already. We are gonna go ahead and give this bulb a whirl in three, two, one.
Anyway, I believe the bulb is at full brightness now, and mamma mia, it is bright in here. And I was actually wrong about the color temperature being 4200K. It's The color temperature is actually 5000K or daylight. So that's really interesting. So this is my second daylight white metal halide bulb that I have in my collection. So that's really cool. So anyways, you can see that this bulb lights up this room in very nice daylight white. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice um, Yushio 400 watt pulse dart metal halide coated bulb. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching.